Welcome everyone to Ghost Hash Crypto Mining. It's a quick video, just wanted to show how I put dual cards in here to mine. Right now we're on nice hash. Currently doing 138.5 mega hash on Auto Lycos on Windows. As you know, most of my rigs are on Hive OS, but really simple to mine on Windows. I'm going to show you guys in this video how to mine on Windows in case you have a PC laying around and you want it to mine. As long as it has a graphics card, you can mine. Uh, you might be able to CPU mine. This particular computer has a processor that's capable of mining Monero or any coin that can be mined via CPU. Don't mind the little teddy bear there. My grandmother gave me that for my graduation when I was 18 years old. So, so long ago. Anyway, folks, um, I want to get into how to do this. This should be a very short video. Shouldn't take long. But I feel like there's a lot of people that have uh, computers at home that are thinking, man, I want to I wanna build a miner and don't know that they can actually mine with what they have. The other day, my son's friend came up to me and he was in awe of my miner and he was just all about it he wanted to build a miner but man it just cost too much money i said hey you got a computer yeah you, you can mine with that and he said really and what do you know he's mining not only that he has a couple of computers in his garage a little older with four gigabyte gpus already in them collecting dust so there, there are a lot of folks out there that don't know that you can build something like this really cheap uh, this setup here is about 500 bucks to build and uh, you got yourself a little mini miner that does about three bucks a day here um, I'm thinking about adding a third card or a fourth card I can pretty much suspend them from the top of the case here with zip ties vertically here next to them next to these two or i can put one horizontally here and one vertically here but i'm about to add two cards to it something else that i realized i saw an ad today um that they're making bitcoin space heaters bitcoin space heaters i'm gonna find it and i'm gonna link that in the description as well but that's nuts man um why pay for a bitcoin space heater where i'm sure you're not gonna profit near as much as if you build your own space heater this thing's pumping out some heat right now i have no problem uh with keeping my house warm while i'm mining it's it's just not an issue i have the opposite problem in the winter everybody's walking around in shorts anyway I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. Thank you guys for listening. Let's get right into the video and let me show you quickly how to mine on Windows. Okay, so here we are at the computer. Currently mining on Team Red Miner, Auto Lycos, using nice hash pool. Right now I have uh, two GPUs plugged into this PC here. Uh, doing about 69 68 mega hash uh, I can push it a little more but it's where it's, it's it's more stable this way and and the computer performs better especially when I'm recording a video anyway I want to make this quick tutorial on how to mine on Windows so I'm not going to use team red miner since I've had that one already downloaded I'll download a, a fresh miner and we'll get this thing mining on a, a different miner from scratch so first and foremost you want to make sure that your system has a graphics card that's capable of mining and to do that you want to go to device manager along this you're going to see display adapters go ahead expand that and as you can see here i have two rx 580 series these are four gigabyte gpus okay so now that we know that you have a GPU that's capable of mining 
let's get us a miner all right so we're gonna use lol miner you want to download lol miner boom and we're looking for lol miner github download here you want to open file extract to specified folder and for our sake we're going to use desktop and hit ok so let's close this we have version 1.33 here in our desktop so you're going to want a tool to adjust your overclock and you know make sure that everything's running stable i use msi afterburner on windows I don't have a whole lot of Windows experience mining, but this works uh, as advertised for me. I'm not upset about it in any kind of way. It works great. Um, I see mixed reviews on it, but I recommend downloading this. That way you can control the overclock settings on your GPUs. So in this uh, folder, you're going to see all the algorithms that you can mine. This is the LOL 1.33 folder that we just downloaded and unzipped to the desktop. Now to set this up, before you start mining, you got to add your wallet address and point this to the correct pool, the pool that you want to mine to. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So I would definitely look into pools and do some research on pools. There are many options. You don't want to uh, load all the hash hash rate into one pool. You want to spread that out across multiple pools. Uh, it keeps the network decentralized and stable. So for now, I'm going to use Hero Miners. It's the pool that I've always mined to. So I'll show you guys here. Click Hero Miners Ergo. Let's go to the home page. This is your home page. Now, if you want to start mining here you go this is the algorithm and this is the address you're gonna need look for the u.s address ergo hero miners 1180 you wanna copy that you want to right click mine ergo click edit okay so here you set the pool Ergo.hero miners. It's already set to Ergo, but it looks like a different country. So we'll go paste and us.ergohero miners.com. That changes that. So now for wallet, unless you already have an Ergo wallet, which I do, and I've created a video on how to make an Ergo wallet in less than three minutes, pause this video, check that video out. I'm going to link it in the right hand corner and come back to this video and you'll have an ergo wallet in no time. But once you get your wallet address, you want to remove this wallet address and I'm going to show you how to get a wallet address in a second here from ergo, but you want to remove this wallet address and replace it with your new ergo wallet address. So you want to go to your ergo wallet and you want to go into this receive tab. You click that and voila, it generates your address right here. You copy it. You go back to your miner. You want to name your, your worker. In this case, we'll name it the blessed rig. Okay. And that should do it. So now you want to go to file, save as mine ergo dot bat. Make sure you know so you could differentiate between the one that you just created and the one that already exists. You want to name this something else. Mine ergo hero miners dot bat. And then you want to change the save as type from text to all files. Make sure you put the dot bat. That's very important at the end and save as type from text to all files. Then hit save. And you're gonna see it right here now your miner is all set you have afterburner downloaded you want to look online for your particular model of GPU and start off with a recommended setting for your GPU so now that we're here you want to start your miner and as you see it says GPU 1 building ergo data set completed and GPU 0 completed Average speed 15 seconds, 
46.4 mega hash 47.34 mega hash total 93.7 mega hash so far okay so gpu zero has gotten to or gpu one has gotten to 67.9 mega hash and gpu zero is still at 46 okay and then we accepted our first share so we're mining so just like that, you're mining on your PC and turning that into cash, turning a liability into an asset. Currently with these two cards, I make about three bucks a day on this rig. It's about 90 bucks a month. But if you do the math, you can pay off a computer in no time. And these cards are not even high end cards. These are low end cards, four gigabyte cards from 2017 2018 2019 around that time i'd say 20 it's more like 2017 2016 but anyway i don't want to take any more of your time guys i appreciate you watching i'm gonna make a video when i add the two cards two more cards to this rig um i'm gonna turn this into a space heater it already blows out pretty much heat i was experimenting with creating a space heater a crypto mining space heater uh last winter and it actually worked out pretty well um i wouldn't even it wasn't even winter it was more like uh, a cold spring night i haven't been mining long enough to mine during the winter but we're gonna try this this winter and see how much a space heater can pay me as opposed to from the other way around which uh you know is pretty expensive i know i've seen advertised bitcoin space heaters as i said earlier in the video but um it just doesn't seem as profitable as building your own so it's going to be a project of mine i'm going to try to so i'm going to monitor the internal temperature of the unit we're going to come up with a way to do that maybe a thermostat inside and we're going to monitor the output temperature of the heat being exhausted and we're also going to monitor the ambient temperature of the particular room that we're going to space heat with space heater and see overall if plugging these in will help save me on energy during the winter months and actually i think we're going to profit but as I said earlier, I saw a Bitcoin miner advertised, and in my opinion, they it's either going to be too expensive. I don't know how much it costs. I don't, I don't even know where that website is. But let's take a look. So here I found some general specs. Power consumption, 1300 watts, 14 tera hash, max hashing power. So essentially, this seems like an S9 built into a heater. Very smart way to repurpose the S9 into something more valuable. I, I will give them that. That does make a lot of sense. So I can get the same hash power out of an S9, but without the noise and take advantage of the free heat. That's a great deal. And it, it costs you 300 bucks more. So in that respect, I think it's a great deal. I'm not going to run out to buy one of these because, like I said earlier, you can mine. You can build your own space heater. This thing pumps out tremendous amounts of heat. It only consumes about 300 watts of electricity. It costs me about 85 cents to run a day, and it makes me about $3 a day total revenue. So I'm pocketing over $2 a day, $2.20 sometimes, $2.30. And you do the math, I'm going to ROI a lot faster than somebody that has one of these. I'm, I'm going to consume a lot less electricity. My electric bill is going to come in a lot lower um, because the power that it's going to take to run this unit is going to be a lot less. And it's going to prevent my actual heating home heating unit from going off so this is the the bitcoin space heater is going to prevent your home heating unit from going off but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg to do so now if you want to multiply this and get 
a few of these for your house now you're talking about i don't know I, this is a tricky one but there's there's better definitely better ways for somebody who's a little tech savvy or can follow directions because putting a computer together isn't very difficult and building one of these uh space heater slash computer slash miner is uh in my opinion a better move anyway guys i appreciate you watching the video i'm gonna i'm gonna look into this further i gotta find a way to monitor uh internal temp you know output temp of the unit and ambient temp of the environment and also find a way to document the savings and heat from last year to this year i'm gonna try to put this all together in a video for you guys because i really think this makes sense i'm gonna build a couple of these mining pcs i'm gonna break apart one of my miners and i'm gonna build two of these units and put them in the two bedrooms that i have in this place and we're gonna do a little experiment this winter and see what happens anyway i appreciate you guys watching i hope you guys have a great day